Everyone, hi. Bruce Moffson, LCSW, Sunridge of Nevada. Tonight, we're going to be shooting three different videos, back to back to back. I'm going to be releasing them over the next several weeks. What we want to do tonight, though, is a little bit different. We want to throw in a trivia contest. And the name of the song, so I'm starting off with the first one, is called Code of the Friend. And the song is called Summer House from the album Everything. That's the first artist we're doing. The second artist, Mac DeMarco, and his song is called Moonlight on the River, number two. The third artist is Capital Steez, uh, well, I really liked, and we're going to be doing his song, and we want you to, you know, free the robots, and that's going to be the third video. What we want you to do is this. We want a listener to come in and tell us what one thing do all three of these artists have in common? The one thing that all three of the artists, Code of the Friend, Mac DeMarco, Capital Steez, what is the one thing that all three have in common? What we're going to do is we're going to take then all the people that get it correct, we'll have a drawing, the winner will be one person, will get a 30-minute session with me, talk about anything you want that we will do online. So again, listen closely, you know the three artists, and that's where we're going to go. And now I'm going to get into the song, break it down, and talk about the artist and why I really enjoyed his music. Code of the Friend, I really enjoyed because... Um, the song is very interesting. It's a very breezy and light type of song. And the intro is, hello, did you miss me? I miss you. I'm back. And to me, it was very breezy and light. It reminded me of listening to something like this um, with a picture of a sangria or gin and tonic. Just very calm, relaxed, summertime music. Now, there was a comment made that what was Summer House about and it serves as an intro to everything, the album, which has him, Coda, updating listeners since he last his last project. Talks about life, relationships, and what everything is about, hence the song, hence the album title. And it was also someone wrote a chill wave beat with a very easy going flow and chorus. 100%, I can't agree more. What we do, as you guys know us from our videos beforehand, I just take out specific lyrics that I like to break down. I'm not going to break down the whole song. And then I want to talk about him in general, because there are some things I find about him that were very interesting, particularly his stance on mental health. So here we go. The song is Summer House from the album Everything. He goes like this. Open your mind, turn on the vibe, and get off the internet. What he's saying, quite honestly, of course, is be a participant in life. Don't be on the sidelines. That's something that we stress all the time in our counseling and in our videos. Be active. You're going to get bloodied. You're going to get knocked down. Trust me. But when you're on the sidelines, when you look at the guys after the game, they'd have no grass stains on them. There's no dirt on them. There's no mud. There's no like tearing of the jersey because they weren't involved in the game. Be involved. Get out there. Okay. Next, he had a great... It's, I'm gonna, and I'm going to throw this out there. I wasn't sure if I should, but I say, you know, it's screwed. I want to go out there with it. He goes, I'm my father's child with a better vision. Um, that line was very intriguing to me. I'm not sure what that was referring to. If anyone could tell me about his childhood, I'd appreciate it. I did a lot of looking on interviews and online. Um, you know, what does he have a father? Is his father alive? Is he in his life? What happened to his father? I'm just kind of curious because it really would give me a lot more insight into his thinking and how he looks at things because he does this. I'm not going to talk about the next line, but he goes, and the and I really like these three lines. I'm going to steal it. And the bed I made is the bed I live in. I could get a house with a better frame and a better kitchen, but the bed I made with my bad decisions going to remain the same. Beautiful. That, to me, was the best part of the song for me. Read it one more time. And the bed I made is the bed I live in. I could get a house with a better frame and a better kitchen. But the bed I made with my bad decision is going to remain the same. 
Wow. To me, it screams out the choices you make, both good and bad, are going to follow you throughout your life. You know, we always talk about like second chances, redo, do over, but choices that you make, both good and bad, they follow you. And I have to say at my age, being 57, I made a lot of bad choices and I'm closer to the end of my life than the beginning. And what I counsel people when I talk particularly to young people is your whole life, like a tapestry, like a painting is right in front of you, still needs to be filled in. But fill it in with the right colors, with the right experiences. Don't fill it in with self-destructive behavior. Make good choices. So when you look back on your life, you say, I married well. I had a good career. I gave back to my community. I was a good father. I cared about my family. I volunteered. I made the world a better place than when I found it. I picked up trash. Whatever. So I love the way he says that. The bed, it remains the same. But it follows you. You can't you can't escape it. So I just like what he did with that sequence. He really, really did a nice job with it. And finally, on the outro, the last part, it goes like this. Because everything, you know, this album is everything, everything, everything. What means everything to me is love. Everywhere I go, everywhere I do, every, everything I do, every, everywhere I am. There has got to be love. There has to be positive vibes. All right, I wanted to focus on this because I wanted to say this. This is a skill you have to learn early in life. You got to learn not to personalize things. If you do, you're going to have a hard time getting through the day. And I know it. I know it. I know it's hard. It's hard. It's very hard to do. Not to personalize. If someone says something negative about you or bad about you, makes you feel stupid. But you got to learn to let it go and go in one ear and out the other and not let it affect you. If you're doing the best you can, it, it slides off like water. You got to let it go in one ear and out the other. You can't personalize things that people are going to say to you or about you. If you did the best you could, if you gave the best effort, let it go. They may be saying it out of ignorance. They may not have enough knowledge of the situation. Let it go. And then it goes, there has to be love. There has to be positive vibes. That's another big one too, positive vibes. You don't want to be around negative people. I, I got to say this, you know, I remember when I was a kid, if I walked into Madison Square Garden to watch the Knicks play, I got pumped. It was exciting. I was looking forward to the game. If I walked into that time Shea Stadium, now it's called City Field, when the Mets played, I got pumped. I got excited. When I walk into a gym still now, I'm excited to be there. It's positive. The game's about to start. I'm looking forward to it. When I come here to make these videos, it's positive. Yeah, you know what? I can say honestly say the last two, three weeks of my life have been extremely difficult for a lot of different reasons. I've been pedal to the metal, humping and pumping, trying to get stuff done, getting dealing with a lot of craziness. But when I walk in here, I'm excited because it's positive energy. I don't want to get too into like too, too deep into that, but I'm excited to be here. This is what I, this is what I want to be doing. This gets me excited. When I see my my producer, it's powerful. It's energy. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do the next one. When I see another video pop up and I see comments and I see things I can answer back, I'm excited. It's positive. So stay away from negative situations and negative people. If they doubt you, if they're not pushing you forward, they're not making you feel good about yourself, run, run, run. You don't want to be around them. Trust, we always say, trust your spidey sense, right? This is what's important and what you need to listen to. If it doesn't feel right, run. Get away from it. Only be around positive people and positive situations. Because it goes. Life is too short for anything negative. Negative meaning self-destructive. You're going to have situations that are going to happen to you that you can never predict. Trust me, I know that from life experiences. You, here, here's the thing that just happened to me just recently, two day, uh, yesterday. I went to my car and my back door was open slightly. I'm like, whoa, what happened here? Here's what happened. I, I locked, I have a key fob and I clicked it. I didn't click it twice. My locks were still open. 
and I park at the edge of the parking lot where I work. Someone came by, noticed it, and they went through my change area. You know, normally you would have like, like you put like little things like tissues and pens, have a little thing on top for change. Guy took all my quarters and I saw my glove compartment was open and he went through, he or she went through that as well. You know what I said? <laughs> Great. I wasn't even angry. He didn't smash my car up. He didn't destroy the inside of my car. I need my car for another two more years. He just took about three, four dollars worth of quarters. He left behind the dimes, nickels, and pennies. I didn't really care. Five dollars? It was cheap. I was grateful. I just looked, fixed up what I needed to fix up, put stuff away. I had papers that he could have taken that would have been really devastating to me. That wasn't taken. Let it go. Let it go. It's not that big a deal. There are other things to get more worried about. And anything that you don't love, so for and anything you don't love. So for me, love is number one. It means everything. I get it. That's what you want to be around. Now, I want to talk about him a little bit because I found him kind of interesting just listening to him talk in different interviews. And this is from an interview with Damon Campbell. He says he talks about moving on, not having regrets. Good. And even people that have hurt you, he says, don't, don't hold it. Let it go. When you hold that anger inside you, it eats you up like a cancer. And I've known people that have done that. 40 years later, they're still like, when I was in sixth grade, I should have been the head of that. The, you know, I should have gotten the part in the school play. He took it from me. Where she wore the dress I wanted to wear at the prom. You know, angry, 40, 50, seething, 40, 50 years later. Who cares? Okay, this guy is talented. He got a scholarship to play trumpet in college. And um, the guy can do everything. I didn't realize how, how good he is with, with, with music. He can play, forget the trumpet, but guitar, keyboard, and bass guitar. God. Um, he said he had to pay his dues and make him humble because he struggled. He wasn't a big shot, you know, moving up. It took time. Um, he goes, nothing is guaranteed in life. So true. He's happy where he is right now. He goes, hey, I've climbed to a certain level. I'm grateful. Got a refreshing attitude about him. He's not like jaded. He's excited. He enjoys touring, likes meeting people. And then he goes into a mental health sequence where he says, everyone deserves to be understood. Be inclusive. Let everyone feel they have a seat at the table. Everyone has trauma and they're trying to get through it. You know, he talks about mental health issues, how it affects people. Everyone has trauma and is trying to get through it. Hey, brother, truth. Everyone has something going on in their lives. Hurt people hurt people. Good point. People that, you know, do destructive things, a lot of times I pity them. I feel bad for them because they hate themselves. That's why they have to lash out at other people. And they're lonely, they're miserable, and they're bitter. Who wants to be around that if they were made that way? He's very, very introspective. And he made a comment that he wants to see his music help people mentally, emotionally, and, and spiritually. And he wants people to learn how to understand each other. And very down to earth. And guess what? He went to the Brooklyn High School of the Arts, which is a pretty prestigious place to learn about music. So impressive what he, where he went to from high school to college. Last point, the album Everything, his thoughts on why he made the name. He goes, he wanted people to do this. Yo, what means everything to you? What does having everything mean to you? What does it mean to have everything? Three questions. Because he wanted to do with manifesting the things you want as an individual and only speaking good things. And for me, meaning himself, he said, all the things that I want, what means everything to me, what's important to me, and what I put before everything else. My age, what I want is for my kids to be successful. That's number one for me. My kids are the most important thing in my life. Everything else, not even close. That's really it. And also, number two is being financially stable. That's my biggest fear in life because I grew up fairly poor. So being financially stable, taking care of my kids is number one, is number two. And if I have to eat, eat it, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, 
hey, you know, suck it up, you know, apologize. I'll do it because I got to take care of my kids financially because they mean the most important thing to me that they become successful. Let us know what that is for you. What's important? What does it mean to have everything? What does it mean to be able to do this? And, you know, number three is to take the channel and continue to see it grow. More videos, more comments. We go in different directions. We grow in different directions. Those really are the three biggest things for me. I could throw in health and blah, 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 some kind of faith-based, but that's kind of pedestrian. That's really what I think about. So let us know what's important to you. What does it mean to have everything in your mind? And what are your goals that you're shooting for? Anyway, another great artist. I uh, hope he has an outstanding career. He's well on his way, obviously. Puts out really good music. He's an intriguing guy. He's an interesting guy. He's a creative guy. Let us know what you think and your thoughts. And again, thank you for watching. Bruce Muffson, Sunridge of Nevada.